Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share how to generate random numbers that follow a certain frequency or probability distribution. For example, if let's say I would like to generate a series of body max indices that follow a certain percentages, such as I would like to have about 2% that is underweight, 58% that is healthy, and so on. And what I'm going to do here, I will set a random probability to split them, to classify them. Okay, let's work out. We go to developer tab, look for visual basic. Then I will put all the code in the sheet generated. So give a name, sub generator. Okay, if let's say we would like to generate a series of 100 random numbers so we will use the follow for i equal to 1 to 100 then we will immediately call the random generator so let's say we would like to make sure that the number generated is randomized enough then we put the function randomize before we generate the random number so we know that random number is actually generating the numbers the values that fall within 0 to 1 so this is actually the probability so we just have to use this to classify the probability distribution over here then to make this done to get this done we just have to apply the condition function the if and else function so we will have if the random probability that we generated as we can see this is about two percent so we i will put less than equal to 0 0.02 then we should have the number that is less than 18.5 so we will start from the row one column one in order to make sure that the number generated is randomized enough so i will always apply the randomize so this is for the sheet two dot cells start from the first row then we continue to 100 so i will set this at random so i then fix at the column one which is equal to so as we can see for the first category i should have less than 18.5 let's say we would like to have only one decimal place meaning to say the maximum value for the first category should be 18.4 so to this what we have to do here we have to set a range if let's say we want the minimum value as 14 so we will have 18.4 the maximum value minus the minimum value which is 14 so we have a range of 4.4 as we can see if let's say we apply one decimal so when we use the generator in excel we might not get one decimal place so what we have to do here is we need to make use of the round function so all the time most of the time i will round the value to integer because if let's say we round to a certain decimal place then sometimes excel may not provide the number that we expected for example if let's say we just want one decimal sometimes excel might give us more than one so what we have to do here to avoid that happen so we just round to integer to make sure that we will still have one decimal place so i will times everything by 10. so round then i generate the number with a range of 4.4 times 10, 44. Then I start from 14 times 10. Then I round to integer. Then I just times 0 0.1 here. So this will ensure that I will get exactly one decimal place. Okay, so if not this case, then we proceed to the second category. So if not this, so else if. I'll less than equal to remember to apply accumulation so we accumulate the value we cumulative the value 
So we have 0 0.02 plus 0 0.58, which is 0 0.6. Then, okay, another range. So I will copy, then we just amend over here. So we have, okay, the second range, we start from 185. Okay, we times 10. Then the maximum should be 24.9. So we have 24.9249 minus 15185. So we have 64. So 64, okay, then we proceed to the next category. So we have, okay, again, accumulate, so 87. Then, 29.9 .9 minus 25 so we have 49 250 so next okay the last one we can just apply apply else okay so we have for the range, as we can see, we start from 30, so times 10 becomes 200. Then what should be the maximum value? If let's say we want to fix, then maybe like 300 to 400, 30 to 40, then we put 100 here as for the range. If let's say we want to have the other, then we just start accordingly. So we start from if, then we end with if. Done for the first I, then remember to go to the next I. Now let's generate and see. So we click on run. So the number already generated here. We check and see whether it's fulfill the criteria that we want. So we make hit count here. So we use the call if function, call if. So what we need to call, we count all the numbers that we have here. Okay, we fix it. Then we will have this criteria. So we obtain 2, which is exactly the one that we want because 2 divided by 100, we get 2%. So again, the next call if, then we'll have the same range. But then for this, it's supposed to be taking the right part of this range only okay we cannot take this range if not the calling will not be correct because excel cannot recognize this range so we take only one two three four five and six characters including the space so we take the cell then we take six okay then remember this is less than 25 Point zero, which means that it's the cumulative frequency. If let's say we want to have the exact frequency, then we need to minus sum of the previous frequency. So we include the range, then we fix the first row. So when we drag, the counting will be correct. So we drag, and the last one is just simply 100 minus the above frequencies so as we can see the number that we generated more or less the same approximately equal if let's say we want to increase the accuracy we just have to increase the size of the number that we want that we generate okay so let's say if now we increase to size of 1000 so will that improve the accuracy so we run and see okay so we have to change all to 100 already 100 is supposed to be 1000 now so 1000 and 1000 okay so we check the total so the total is equal to 1000 over here then we apply some division in order for us to get the percentage so remember to fix the total times 100 so 1.8 okay so as we can see the accuracy is now higher approximately equal 
so we can run run for a few times to check out so as we can see so the number more or less the same the accuracy higher here so if let's say we increase to 10,000 what would happen okay so stop already now we change to 10,000 10,000 10,000 and 10,000 so as we can see the accuracy getting higher and higher so meaning to say the accuracy is actually depends on the size of random numbers that we generated okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you